Voices of Mortals. I'm the exact year. What is up, mortals? I'm the attack here, and I'm assuming you're here for the gangbang. Me too. Glad we started out on the right foot, and that's one statement my mind has never really been able to process. Starting out on the right foot. I would think that that would only apply to foot fetish models and ninjas. Shopping at a shoe store, I'm gonna need one new shoe for the right foot only. Cause I need a fresh new start. My wrong foot can deal with that raggedy ass Nike, but my right foot is gonna need something new, something fresh. Show me what you can do for me. Man, I'm getting worse. It only took me like 8 seconds to get off topic in this one, but now that I realize I sound like that senile old fuck named Horace at your local nursing home, I'm a 180 switch this shit and get back on track. I felt that most of my videos don't really help you guys out as much as I would like. Now, not to say that my humorous life tales of me don't help a bit in certain circumstances, but I thought, why not give you some straight up one-on-one -on -one tip segment that really would make your life 42% better. Most stats are made up on the spot, but I promise I've done my research, and that statistic is 83% correct, by my math at least. So what I'm here to help you guys out with today is I'm the exact pro tips on how to get laid. And no, I'm not some Kama Sutra sex genie tantric wonder god, but I have had some sexual relationships. To note, most of the girls were quite unaware, but I have had a handful which were consensual. And I'm not talking about one night stand hookups, knights of the round table King Arthur shit, any guy can go out and slay dragons that he picks up from the local watering hole. Well, not everyone, because I know the majority of my subs are under the legal age of attending strip joints. But these tips are how to trick a girl you are having a relationship with into sleeping with you. Now, I know that involves being in a relationship, and that's a whole other topic on its own. But for this story's purpose, let's all assume you guys are in a committed relationship. If needed, feel free to close your eyes and picture that girl you watch from a distance on a daily basis. Okay. I feel you guys need me here, so I'm going to start out by being Captain Motherfucking Obvious. The most important thing is physical attraction, and you guys know that from a first hand standpoint, you aren't going to be interested in some girl who wears overalls and has tits the size of bottle caps. And I guess the best way to explain myself here is, girls feel the same way. Now I know that girls aren't allowed to have feelings, blah blah blah, but this is an exception. A girl will not take her top off unless you can present yourself as a half decent looking bro. And it all starts out with personal hygiene. Take a shower and drip drop that professional sports player cologne on and around your genitalia area. Go out, purchase an affliction tee, and wear some sweet ass cargo shorts paired with a cute pair of flippy floppies. The reason I say cargo shorts is, these are some of the most easily accessible devices for her to maneuver her way to the gold mine, which in fact is, is your penis. The gold mine is your penis if you didn't catch that. Second thing is attitude. Now there's a fine line between being confident and being a cockfuck douchey fag, and I play the nervous game with that line every day, but without coming off too Jersey Shore-esque, you guys have to assume the position is alpha male and control the engagement. Now in previous videos, you guys know this would normally be the spot where I would tell you to just whip your dick out, and that would be okay. If you want her to cut it off with a machete, being realistic here guys, you need to wait to show her the goods, and as hard as this may seem, you gotta trust me here. Last thing we're going to cover today is drafting the proper team to win a championship. That includes friends you have in your inner circle, as well as the lioness you're about to pounce on. Now you have to pick guys who will comply with your every demand, as well as a group of guys that are slightly not as good looking as you. It's just general science. If you put a subpar average looking bro beside a group of just plain subpar looking bros, the subpar average looking bro is going to look like Ryan Reynolds from the Amityville Horror Remake. Now onto the girl. If you guys have watched the Discovery Channel, you'll know that most species look for a vulnerable mate, mainly looking for a younger girl, easily impressionable, and DTF. How to tell if a girl is DTF can be found in pretty much every one of my previous videos, so I'm not going to touch on that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed part 1 on how to get laid. Before part 2 is uploaded, I would ask if you guys could please go out, perform these 3 tasks, and part 2 will be waiting to take you on a magical journey to the promised land. Oh, and if you've somewhat enjoyed me talking over gameplay for the last few minutes, it would be sexually pleasing if you could rate this video accordingly, mainly by using the like, favorite, and commenting options YouTube has so kindly provided for me. So get your 24 pack of condoms ready, until next time guys, I'm The Attack, and I am out.